In pictures, California Wine Country Wildfires slideshow by photo services firefighters on Monday continued to gain control of the deadly wildfires that have ravaged Northern California's wine country. As officials lifted multiple evacuation orders across the region, in the last week, the fires have scorched more than 200 acres, destroyed or damaged more than 5, 500 homes, displaced 100 people and killed at least 41. Sunday appeared to be a turning point, as firefighters took advantage of winds that were weaker than expected to increase containment on the fires, even allowing some back into their homes. Still, more than 40 Oh, people are still evacuated and the death toll continues to rise. The Nuns Fire claimed its first identified victim. Cal Fire said Monday, a private water tender driver assigned to the Nuns Fire tragically died in a vehicle rollover on Oakville Grade in Napa County. Monday morning, Cal Fire said in a statement, in Sonoma County, the 36. 390-acre Tubbs fire is 70% contained. The 51064-acre Atlas fire is 68% contained. And the 11889-acre Pocket fire is 40% contained. Aided by efforts by more than 4 000 firefighters from across California, the conditions have been pretty favorable. The winds have been less than expected. Sonoma County Sheriff's Deputy Brandon Jones said Monday morning. Sunday night was the second night in the row where we had some reasonably decent production. He said, crews gained more of a toehold against the 48. 627-acre Nuns Fire, which is now 50% contained, but a smaller blaze adjacent to the Nuns Fire that ignited Saturday near the Oakmont neighborhood of Santa Rosa continues to cause trouble. Overnight, the 875-acre blaze jumped over bulldozed fire breaks and merged with a corner of the Nuns Fire burning near Sugarloaf Ridge State Park. Cal Fire officials told firefighters at a morning briefing at the Sonoma County Fairgrounds. The fire, called the Oakmont Branch, is 15% contained. We've got a hold of this horse but it's bucking us still in some areas. Incident Commander Brett Gouveia said Monday morning. Some residents in the Oakmont area have not left their homes. Santa Rosa Fire Chief Tony Gosner said. Local law enforcement will be moving house to house today. Knocking on doors. We're going to do our best to get people out who don't want to come out. Gosner said. The area where the Oakmont branch is burning is relatively sparsely populated. But if the fire moves west, it could threaten more than two OOO homes west of Los Alamos Road. Gosner said, the Nuns fire, 50% contained on Monday morning after burning 48, 627 acres, was also still a concern. Firefighters have been able to keep the flames from burning more structures in the city of Sonoma, Jones said, but evacuation orders are still in place for the city. The Nuns Fire is moving north, spreading at a moderate rate. The fire is being driven by steep slopes and dry fuel. According to a Cal Fire incident report, authorities dealing with the 36, 390-acre Tubbs Fire, which has leveled much of Santa Rosa, lifted evacuation orders on about 200 to 300 houses, including portions of the Larkfield and Wickiup neighborhoods just north of the community. Those were neighborhoods where the Tubbs fire came down to the backside. Jones said, families were allowed to return to unburned houses Sunday afternoon. The Tubbs fire was 70% contained as of Monday morning, hours after police lifted evacuation orders for a small area of the Larkfield Wiki Up area. Dozens of residents sped through the darkened streets to check their houses for damage or to see what was left to salvage. For some, trying to return home was traumatic. Police officers erected barricades across Carriage Lane and checked residents' identification before allowing them to enter on foot. They hoped that barring cars from the area would discourage residents from spending the night in homes that still don't have electricity. 
Kimberly Flynn emerged from the darkness of Carriage Lane late Sunday night. Her shaking hands illuminated by the flashing blue and red lights of a police car. Flynn and her partner, Jaden Campbell, had just returned from a tour of their house in Wikiup, their first visit since they evacuated. Monday morning, it's gone, Flynn said, crying. Campbell grabbed her hand. We knew it was gone. But we, it's gone. Flynn and Campbell said that during the days they were out of the house. They saw a satellite photo of their street, showing every house obliterated. It still didn't prepare them for the extent of the damage. One car was half melted. Little was left standing beyond the house's major support beam. In the wreckage in their front yard, Flynn found a white ceramic butterfly she had placed in a planter to commemorate a little boy who was killed in an accident. Butterflies, she said, were reminders that friends and family who have died are thinking of you. The butterfly came out of the fire sooty but unscathed. Napa County officials allowed residents back into the town of Calistoga on Sunday afternoon. After clearing everyone out last week in fear that flames would hit the city, the most active portion of the Tubbs fire is still the northeastern portion around Red Hill and Mount St. Helena. The fire continues to make short uphill runs around to the north side of the peaks. According to a Cal Fire incident report Sunday night, firefighters battling the 51064-acre Atlas fire on the hills east of the Napa Valley continued to gain ground on the blaze. Overnight, officials said at a briefing Monday morning, the fire was 68% contained Monday morning. Much of the interior of the fire's footprint, a 51. 064 swath of forest between Lake Berryessa and Green Valley in Solano County is cold. Light southerly winds that could push the fire north are the main concern for firefighters. Dangerously dry air continues to make flying embers a concern because they can start fast moving. Grass fires in a flash. Many of the crews headed out to the fire Monday morning were tasked with mopping up hot spots and Shoring up containment lines established overnight. As the incident transitions into recovery mode, with utility crews lining the narrow winding streets around Atlas Peak repairing power lines, officials have been able to better assess the damage from the deadly blaze, said Capt. Carlos Munoz of Chico Fire. Cal Fire officials said 342 homes have been destroyed and 50 more damaged. Officials in Napa County have changed their tone in talking to the community, even though some evacuation orders remain in place. No longer are they emphasizing the risk of potential devastation to more homes. Instead, they're pleading for patience while they mop up the fire's hot spots and have crews clear out scorched debris, fallen trees and repair roads. Napa County Fire Chief Barry Bierman described the Atlas Peak area as a moonscape with nothing left. Six people have been confirmed dead from the Atlas fire. It burned everything, he said at a community meeting Sunday. Atlas Peak remains closed. Every road sign, from a posted speed limit to a cautionary slow down sign around a curve, has to be replaced before the roads are deemed safe for the public to travel said County Supervisor Diane Dillon. Public Health Director Karen Relucio said the water in the area is safe to drink but the air is still considered hazardous. A new batch of thousands of face masks were expected to arrive in Napa County on Monday. Officials said, Cheryl Lynn DeWerf said she was certain her Napa County house was going to burn when she was forced to flee as a massive fire sped toward her Circle Oaks community. It was 1 a.m., and she had just gone to sleep in her second-story bedroom when a sheriff's deputy pounded on her door. It was so loud there was no way she could miss it. So I came running to the door and he says, Get out! Get out now! There's a fire coming! She said she grabbed a fresh load of laundry, threw it in her turquoise 2001 Thunderbird and took off. In the week since, DeWerf, 65, 
and hundreds like her have lived on edge about the fate of their homes in Circle Oaks, a mountain community on the east side of Napa County and in the path of the Atlas Fire. But at the community meeting Sunday attended by about 60 people at the Napa Valley Unified School District Auditorium, DeWorf and her neighbors got the best kind of news possible. All of their homes were safe. In Mendocino County, where eight people have died, the Redwood Fire was 35. 800 acres and 50% contained Monday morning. Many of the mandatory evacuations in Mendocino and Lake Counties were lifted Sunday. Reach Sonali Coley at Sonali. Coley at Law Times. Com or on Twitter at Sonali Coley. Updates. 8. 35 a.m. This article was updated with the updated fatality count, current acreage and containment estimates, and more information about firefighting efforts. This article was originally published at 7 a.m.